Okay, so maybe let's, we'll just have a discussion about the place. How's that? And then you do the intro at the end. Uh, we do. We need an intro. We don't really. I'd like to. I'd like to have. Yeah. I like. I like to have people see. The beginning will just be shots of the yeah. venue. The venue. Yeah. Just shots. Yeah. So logo. Yeah. Shots. Yeah. And then you basically just saying, "We're back, and we're going to be doing live shoots this season." Okay. And um, Zabs and I sat down and had a cool talk about it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do the intro at the end. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Are we rolling already? Yep. All yeah, right, cool. We are rolling. Uh, do you want to wait for the phone to be answered? Yeah, right. Phone's nah, answered. nah, 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 <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We can go ahead. We can go yeah. ahead. All right, man. So it's a nice spot. Um, you've yeah. been trying to do this whole vegan life. I have. You know, so can I this... tell you, it's, quite, it's one of the biggest coincidences yeah. to have a place called Conscious <laughs> really close to me. Yeah. And it's vegan and I'm on that tip. I don't like talking about my journey to veganism, you know? Yeah. But how's it going, man? Because I know you've been talking about it for like a month, uh, more well, than a month. Can you see how this place, when we asked for honey? Yeah. They were like, they don't we give don't give honey. honey. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Right? It's no, like, they're going deep. We only have almond milk, you know, rice milk. Mm. We don't have milk from animals. Yeah. So it dawned on me when I began my trip to veganism, my journey, that veganism is actually an ideology, bro. Yeah, yeah. Of not yeah. being cruel to animals in yeah. any way, form, or fashion. And that's what I didn't realize. I mean, I, yeah, I, think, I, think I, I asked for honey just now, and I think, you know, they, they might feel insulted. <laughs> but, so, so it's almond milk up in here. Yeah, almond milk in the cappuccino. Yeah. yeah. There's no honey. But, yeah. you know, I feel like I've, I've come to a point where I, I would like to... I'd like to up the up the ante in my life, period. Yeah, yeah. And I think that translates in the show as well, you know? Yeah. Uh, the venue, it's aesthetic. I want us to be doing more venue shoots. I want us to be, mm. you know, taking it out more and, and bringing it in yeah. less. Showcase a little bit more uh, abs- of Africa. Absolutely. Because what, what I noticed also from the, the feedback from various people that watch Key Africans Unlocked, we have a lot of people who are watching from outside of uh, the continent, outside right. of uh, the city that we're based in. Mm. And you're right, we need to kind of sometimes give a window in terms of the, the vibe that we have. Right. Yeah. You know, cold days like this, I mean, like today's like <laughs> hella cold. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold out here. Yeah. How, how was your break been, man? You know, I was thinking about the break and it took me back to an interview I watched some time ago. Uh, Mint Condition, the band? Yes, 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 yes. So I remember between the third and fourth album or something, I'm a huge fan. Me too. That, um, what kind of yeah. man would I be? That's my... <laughs> now, Stockley's the man. Yo, that so dude. So they, they asked, I think they asked Stockley, like, what, what, what's happened between this album and that album? And his answer was, we've been doing life. Because yeah. I think he has an interest in photography, the other guy, because you need life in order to bring it back to the table when you're doing a, an album. Yep. And I think similarly to us with uh, with the podcast, because during the break, there's been a lot that's been happening on my side, a lot that's been happening on your side as that's well. That's true. Uh, so I'm partly occupied doing uh, that radio conference in Zambia. And uh, that's very involving. So that's that's been, um, you know, taking up a lot of time. But it's 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 been living life, you know, and then... T- yeah. And you know, that's it, it's something I get all the time just from my rap career vibes, you know? People are like, yo, man, where you been? It's been so long. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. I've, I've been here. Yeah, I yeah. just haven't put out records. <laughs> why, why have you not put out records? Dude, life, bro. Yeah. Because life happens. Like you're Absolutely. living. You're too busy living your life. And mm, records mm. are just a part of it. Yeah. You know? Um, and it's the same with podcasts. Just because people don't see us or hear us, it doesn't mean we're not. We're on pause. It's, it's almost like somebody hit the pause button. Like, <laughs> and there's a huge okay, upgrade. <laughs> have you been listening to podcasts while you're on break? You know and what I've been, you know been, what been listening to, which is it's part listening, part watching. Yeah. There's a series called Alex Inc. Yeah. So Alex Inc., it's a, it's a sitcom, but the twist is that it's based around the life of the guy who started Gimlet Media, the podcasting company. Nice. So it's about a guy who uh, gives up his nine to five so that he can start a, a podcast. Yeah. And it follows like the various challenges that he's having. And I, I could relate because it's, it's funny, but it's, it's good to also kind of watch a guy who's um, kind of doing what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the journey of trying to get people to understand what a podcast is. Right, and, right, and, right, uh, right, right. You know. So yeah, I've, I've been watching that. So it's, it might be a cheat to answer your question that no, no, way. No, 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 not at all, not at all. <laughs> well, I've been watching, you know, the typical ones, right? Yeah. Some of them don't even count as podcasts. So Breakfast Club. Oh yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind yeah. of like meet and drink out here. Yeah. 
um, a bunch of political ones from the US. So there's one called Majority Report, which I really like. Okay. Um, there's a guy called David David Pacman. Mm. He's also on YouTube. All these are on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I really like that one. And the Joe Budden one, the Joe Budden podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you've been t- talking about that one yeah, a lot. That's yeah, that's been really dope. So it's been nice watching a yeah. lot of these podcasts. I was watching them before we even started these podcasts that we yeah. do, you know. Yeah. I've been watching some of these for years. Like TYT, for example, there's a network called The Young Turks, also on YouTube. They've been doing what looks yeah. like podcasts, but it's like a network almost, like okay. a television network. But it's actually podcasts when you think about it. Yeah, and you introduced me to like Drink Champs. Yeah, Drink Champs. And uh, yeah, and I watched a few of those as well. LL Cool J's was my favorite because, you know, <laughs> old school cat. You know, you know? and then yeah. obviously shout out to Combat Jack, the OG. So yeah. I, think, I think we can safely say that we're ready to go in on the next 10 episodes, man. Absolutely, looking forward to them. Dude, I'm so looking, so, you know the first yeah. 10, bro. Yeah, it yeah. surpassed my expectations. <laughs> I won't lie. Yeah. I knew I knew we we're gonna meet some good people and they were gonna be dope, but I didn't realize it was gonna be that dope. Yeah, no, that's been amazing. I got a, a message about two days ago from um, because the thing is sometimes what happens is you get messages from people that you expect to get messages from. Oh yeah. So you've got your people who've been watching from day one, but when you get a random message from somebody that you don't expect, mm-hmm. I, I was um, a guest on DJ Fresh's show. Oh, dope. Um, on Metro FM. Yeah. And straight after the show, there was like an avalanche of messages that were coming from obviously people that I don't know, people that were he- knowing, hearing of me for the first time. So yeah, that, yeah. that I was expecting those kind of messages. Right. Then came uh, a message from among that audience, but a guy was saying, no, I love the podcast you and Zubs do. Really? So that's how he launched uh, his... his, his uh, it, yeah. Or the questioning. The, yeah, yeah. Wow. So I'm like, oh, wow. So, so there are people that, they're not on our radar right now, but... Um, they're engaging with the with the pod, dude. So I'm, that's, and yeah. I'm looking forward to getting yeah. more of those ones. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Um, I know we've lined up a bunch of guests. We're not going to yeah. give away too much at yeah. this point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's some very interesting yeah. episodes coming up, man. I, I think. I think. I mean, we've had a discussion about the angles that we're we're trying to, you know, uh, take going forward. Mm. So the look and feel obviously is changing, yeah. but then also the the fact that we want to touch on. Th- things that resonate a lot, you know, with, with uh, yeah. different people. So we've already kind of uh, mapped out how we're going to do that. Mm-hmm. Another thought that just came to mind, things that oh, resonate with people. Exactly, so this is, this is exactly this, how I'm going off happen. tangent. <laughs> this is how all the episodes I'm happen. I'm going off tangent. You go off tangent. Dude, yesterday, a guy that's been owing money. Actually, in your stories. You're in your stories. <laughs> this dude's been owing money for the longest time, right? Okay. So dude doesn't answer calls. Yeah. Doesn't answer emails. He's just like, you know, he's 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 a blank page yeah. like a wall and then yesterday all of a sudden in the morning ding EFT right wow after the EFT missed calls from dude because now dude wants me to do the next job oh. so my thing is like okay we all get people who owe us money and you know neither here nor there but tip and trick mm-hmm. if if you want a favor don't pay the guy today <laughs> and then start calling today for the next thing you know what I mean like give it time <laughs> especially when you've taken two years to pay do, the guy do you know what I mean so like give it time, just like, oh yeah, I paid, yeah, yeah. Oh hey, good luck, you know, yeah. enjoy life. You know, and you then probably, wait for one week at least, and they say, Hey, dude, you know. They probably but, only paid because they wanted you to. Exactly. But this is what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's 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 like people that you owe etiquette. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So here's a trick to anybody who's watching. If you owe somebody money and you pay on that day, <laughs> give them time to breathe. Before you ask for the next, what next was favorite. the point of this story, Chilu? No, just it's been thinking people that, stories that people relate to. Oh, you know okay, I mean? okay. Like, yeah. I was trying to find out what, <laughs> like, what, was, your, the what was your connection with the, with I mean, the I forthcoming mean, what, episodes. No, it, it just occurred to me, like you know. I well, mean, can like, I tell yeah, you this? Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm hoping that the next ten episodes, yeah, we have a a, a better feedback loop with our audience. Yeah, so yeah, I would like yeah. us to talk more with them. I'd like I'd like to to find out what they want to see, who they want to see us yeah, sit down and chat yeah, to, yeah, what they like the most about our apps. I'm also looking forward to, yo, man, I feel like telling people about who the guys are going to be, but I'm looking forward no, to no, sitting let's, down let's... with some of these people that are, <laughs> some of them have yeah, been, yeah, yeah, some of them have been dying to talk to forever. No, and I'm so happy that we're going to do that. And, 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 you know, I mean, we've been speaking about like various uh, people. I mean, like, I'm not, not saying names, but yeah, the, the fact that, that yeah. even the people that we, we've lined up and the people that we're speaking to range from, Guys in academia uh, to to guys who are doing amazing things, um, which might not be in the same realm that we interact with in yeah, every yeah, day. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. and, and uh, I suppose that's 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 the thing because uh, as much as we enjoy chatting, 
there's opportunities for us just to digest new information and learn and grow as well. Can we make a promise, like, yeah, publicly and just like put it on record that we're never gonna take another break this long? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean yeah, that yeah. that break was yeah unacceptable, bro. <laughs> I know life happens, but yeah, yeah. No more breaks that long. Bro. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's unless yeah. I. <laughs> No, 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 not like ever. A disclaimer. No, not yeah. ever, not ever. Yeah, yeah. Unless, unless, mm. Mm. unless mm. life itself forces yeah. you. Yeah, but no. I really, yeah, I'm excited, man. Yeah, no, no. So am I. Cool. No, good to be back, man. Yeah, it's good to be back. Yeah, it's good so to be outside what are you the brand- studio. You, you're the one who brands these podcasts. So we had the the Decasode. What's this one here? Because this is the one that's before. I haven't even thought about it yet. Before It'll the ones that me, we no? start doing. Yeah. It'll come to me. Yeah, it always yeah. comes to me. Yeah. yeah. So something yeah. always comes when it needs to. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I was having a, a, a performance last weekend. Two last weekend. With the the ballet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. With the Joburg ballet. It was so yeah. dope. And I forgot the line. You know. Oh. It happens all the time. Well, within the track. Yeah. Within, yeah so yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. So when you're on stage and it's live, you you forget the line. It happens. Yeah. 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 And um, usually when I forget the line, I just kind of, I relax and let whatever line come, yeah. comes, come. Uh, yeah, and and invariably, it's it, yeah. the line. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as you, because I always hear the line before I have to say the line. When I oh. don't hear the line, I'm like, I guess there's no line. Yeah. And then as I open my mouth, it's the it's line. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. But last week when I was up there at the Joburg Ballet, yeah. the line didn't come. Oh. At all. So how did you unline, how did you align? Freestyle, bro. Oh, wow. It's the MC in me. I yeah, came up yeah. with a new line that even yeah. I didn't know was going to come out. Yeah. And as it came out, I was like, that oh, works. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how we'll name this part. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what it'll be. Yeah. But when it comes out, yeah. it'll work. Yeah. No, yeah. you got a few hours to, <laughs> to consider. Oh, damn. I was, yo, let's wrap this up. Yeah. <laughs> the pressure, the pressure, right. the pressure. So I'll see you yeah. tomorrow for our first one. Yeah. All right, man. Bless. Bless. <laughs>